So ladies and gentlemen, good morning, good afternoon and good evening from wherever you are watching from. This is Anoto in China, but today I'm not in China. Today I'm in Kenya, 254 in Africa. For those who have been following my journey all through from China, Kunming Institute, or from Kunming in Yunnan province, uh, what's the name of that park? Okay, from Kunming, Yunnan province to Guangzhou, to Changsha, and finally to Nairobi 254. Ladies and gentlemen, this is an auto in China. Today I'm going back to my. I am one of the it's actually very very loud so where i am right, right now is at easy coach easy coach is where it's like a, the and maybe locate where my bus is. So I booked online using Google Pay or something. What do they call it? Let me see. It's called Bupas. Bupas. I was able to log in and uh, book on Bupas and I've printed my ticket. My ticket is ready. This is my ticket. This one. Easy coach. This is my ticket. So it's been seven months, almost eight months not being home. So I want to go home and do something. And then I come back to the city and proceed with my other scheduled plans. Normally during this time people travel to up country as they prepare for the Christmas uh, festival. Uh, but for now, I'm, I'm just going for two days to with my family because in the next one month or two months, I'll be very busy, so this is the only time. And tomorrow, which is Monday, is a holiday, so I take some time off and be with family before coming to proceed with uh, normal duties. Yeah. So thank you so much for following me. Thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you so much for watching my content all the way from China to Africa. I hope you guys are loving my experience. I document my life, my life experiences in China. But uh, actually right now I'm in Kenya, so I want you to see what happens in Kenya. And uh, I want you to see and relate with where I come from. So today I'll be documenting my journey from Nairobi to Kitale. Nairobi to Kitale. I'm using Easy Coach bus. Easy Coach bus. That's the bus I prefer to use. And I'm with my normal luggage. This one, my yellow sweater from China. Lakers. And uh, my backpack. And uh, right now in China is one one. 12. But in, China, in Kenya is one. Normally my Chinese time is a bit ahead, but in Kenya right now is eight o'clock. Oh, in Kenya is eight o'clock, and my bus is leaving at eight fifteen. So I'm um, very very much early. So I just came to start my video from this place. So I'm at the waiting lounge, as you can see behind me the waiting lounge with this beautiful yellow seats but initially they were not uh, they were cushion seats but they changed looks like this looks like this hello no, no, thank you thank you uh, this guy wants to sell me a newspaper but, uh, <laughs> when i'm traveling home i don't buy newspapers because my father buys all the newspapers Nation standard and most of the time Taifaneo and Nairobi and so this guy is selling this guy is selling the newspapers 
not interested because I'll find so many newspapers at home and I'll read. Because my father is an enthusiast for buying newspapers. The clock is ticking. I need to go. Right now, there's a much replay that's going on. So at least they put some entertainment on you. So let's see how today's journey will be. I'm excited to be in Kenya. I'm excited to be in 254. I'm excited to be in Africa, the motherland. This is where diversity begins. This is where my story begins. And today, welcome on board. We'll be part of my story. And uh, you guys sit back, enjoy, and relax. If you have not watched my videos from how my from China, you need to go back and watch my real life experiences in China. Today I'm documenting about my journey from Nairobi to Kitali. But make sure you go back and watch the previous episodes about how my journey was from Yunnan province in Kuming city to Guangzhou, from Guangzhou to Changsha city, and then from Changsha city to Nairobi city. I travel using the China Southern Airlines. China Southern Airlines, very good services. I enjoy everything. But today I'm using the bus to travel to Kitale. There's an airport in Kitale called Kitale Airstrip and one in Eldoret. So, but while traveling within the country, I like to travel by bus so that I see the beautiful landscape. And uh, I, today you'll be able to see the beauty of Kenya 254. My time is running. Let me finalize from here and go to go to the main the main wait area or the main um, bus stage. So this is like a, a waiting lounge. Waiting lounge where people sit. If you want a drink, you can buy a drink from there. If you want to watch some television, you can watch from there, or you can charge your phones and be ready for everything so let's see how it goes my phone is full and uh, my ticket is ready so using book as you book online and then you'll say you receive a confirmation a confirmation message and when you come you just show them this message from boopers and then you check in okay in a bus you don't check in you just go in and go wherever you are going. Alright, so ladies and gentlemen, buckle up, sit back, enjoy, and uh, follow me on my journey to Kitale. At this time, I want to go out. I want to go out using that place. So let me show you another launch. This is a bit extensive. We go this other end and see people seated on the other end. Now I have to exit this place. The time is 8.05 and uh, off we go. So normally here we have two buses. There's the Guardian and there is the Easy Coach. So today I'm using Easy Coach. So let me go check in literally from there. And then I go. So I booked my ticket from here. From here. But I go there. Let's see. Follow me. This is an auto in China. And let's see how today goes. Let's see how today goes. So I have to show my ticket and uh, go in. These are the guys checking the ticket. This is my ticket. I have to check in. My, my bus is leaving at 8.15, 8.15, so, wait, 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 wait. Let me check something and then we go. Here. So here we go, let me see, let me see, let me see. Oh, 
Okay, okay, thank you so much. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Guys, so this is the bus. Easy coach bus. Yeah. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, what was it with you? No, thank you. It was not enough. Yeah, it's. Yeah. Oh, it's. Yeah, 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 it's. Safari me kwa mrefu mingi katika hiyo wajua ni kwa businessman business all over the world wajua has a boy madem wajua 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 this is my friend actually wajua 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 I'm just documenting my journey oh okay yeah because I travel so bad kitale oh hii number two my own channel yeah, yeah. Only any what's good. Not sure. Why do you want to do I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. By the way. By the way. By the way, Nani. Salim. Salim. Ah, nice to meet you. Bye bye. Okay. Thank you, Salim. I appreciate it. Very friendly, you guys. I have a friend over there. This is the easy coach bus. The easy coach bus. This is my team. But uh, I think this is mine. It's my CD space. I have to go in. I don't know my seat number. I have only here. 10A. Seat number 10A. You want take camera? You want take video? Video? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so. Finally. I did it. I did 10A. So we are inside, so let me find my seats. 10A. 6. Hello? Are you coming in? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. No, it's my 10A. Ah, window seats. Awesome. So this way I'm seated today. 10A. Let me put my bag here. Let me make this seat belt. So we've checked in. The next 20 minutes will be on our way to Kitali. The time right now is page 15. This one needs to be out of this place by age 15. So let me document about my journey to Kitali and let's see how it is. It's a very special seat. If you have long legs, you can travel comfortably with easy coach and you can adjust your seat somewhere here. And you can adjust your seat and sleep and have a rest so that you have a comfortable journey. And this is people are boarding or waiting for their bus over there. Behind me, there are no people. So, <coughs> let's see how it goes. Let's see how it goes. So, I'll be documenting on the favorite parts um, on our way to Kitale. Maybe when we get to the Rift Valley viewpoint, Nakuru, 
Chimboroa, each other forest. Chimboroa and what? There's normally so many forests along the way. And but if you're living from Nairobi, you go from Nairobi to Nakuru to Eldoret and finally to Kitale. Kitale is the last stop. So follow for more journey, my life on the road. <coughs> Right now, people, so many people are traveling to up country to prepare for the festive season. Actually, what you're seeing today is not uh, not so many people, but if you come here at around 20th or 25th, 20th to 20th to, to 2nd of January, so many people traveling. There's normally a big jam of people around this place. But today is just an easy day, an easy Sunday, easy peasy. So I'll be glad to show you my way home. Four cities. Now Kitale will be my seventh city in the past one week, in the past three days. So from Guangzhou, Kunming, Changsha to Nairobi. Then Nakuru, Eldoret, and finally Kitali. So, follow me for more. And uh, let's wait. When the driver hits the pedal, the camera will roll as we exit Nairobi. All right. See you at the other end of the break. Welcome back. So these guys are selling masks. The Chinese don't wear masks anymore and people are still selling the mask. I don't know, maybe people are still in fear of COVID. Actually, he's selling some. Selling of masks would be a very big business during the time of COVID. But I'm not seeing people wearing masks around from the airport to this place, just a few, a few maybe who have an underlying condition, so they have to wear a mask. This is the waiting lounge where we started our video. And this is where we booked at the customer care. And uh, we are almost leaving. Just taking the ones and twos, then we we'll off the road. It's full board. The behind seats are not so much occupied, a few spaces remain. You can see on the other end people waiting for their buses. I see a Chinese man. I saw a Chinese man is here. It looks Chinese or Japanese over there. We are almost leaving and I'm um, excited to go home after seven to eight months. So this week I've been doing a very, very big challenge. Different continents, different cities. So my first city was. Yunnan, my second city was Kunming, no, Yunnan is Kunming, Guangzhou, Changsha, Nairobi, next city would be Nakuru city, and then Eldoret, and then finally Kitale. Those are so many kilometers at one place. So excited. I've been looking forward to this journey for the longest time. I miss home. 
home is where the heart is, home is where the heart belongs. The fare right now is 1700 or 1700 Kenyan shillings. But initially it used to be 1350. So there's been a price increment. Off we go. Constructed expressway. This one. The main reason why they constructed it is for you to have a direct access to the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport because Mombasa Road used to be. Okay, even now there's a lot of traffic on Mombasa Road, so if you use the expressway above us, you will arrive uh, quickly. Like you saw from the airport to the city, using the expressway, within 15 minutes you are in the city. But if you use the Mombasa road, maybe one hour, two hours. So if you are having a flight, if you are catching a flight, you might end up missing uh, it because of the traffic. Yeah. This is Furu Park. Furu Park. When I come back, I need to go do a documentary about Uhuru Park because um, I've been checking online. It's being renovated to fit the modern touch. So, and they have also placed a plane inside Uhuru Park. So I'd like to go and uh, see how it is. Normally in Kenya, when we construct, we surround these places with iron sheets. So it means there's a construction going on to protect the public from the dangers of construction, maybe falling objects and stuff. But I need to come and show you this place. Especially I want to see the plane inside the Kuru. That will be a good one. I don't know if it, they allow you to enter or it's just a plane seated there for photography purposes. Right about now we are at Kuru Highway. Next over there is the University of Nairobi. The University of Nairobi, where I used to school. And this is St. Paul's University Chapel. Paul's University Chapel. Reminds me of 
my life back in campus here in Kenya. I'm reminiscing on the moments. And the expressway ex extends up to Westlands, Nairobi area. Westlands is another like another city or not another city, another town in Nairobi area. You can see the GTC Global Trade Center offices. The main tower. It's typically Chinese building. KPMG, one of the top auditors we have in the world. KPMG at ABC Place.
Sasa hii arrived Nairobi is been raining and uh, it seems today also it will be the clouds are pregnant with rain. It will rain on our way because uh, they were saying maybe the Nino will be around this time. So let's see how it goes. Delta officers. Petrol filling station and next to it should be Quick Mart, Quick Mart supermarket. And if you can hear the beautiful music in the background, it's actually from SDA Seven Days Adventure Choir. Over there, so you get to be entertained. But normally, you don't like the choir. It's not a modern type of music. I prefer the modern type of music. But anyway, it's gospel music, so they want you to feel that touch of gospel as you travel. As you travel to the country, under school. Nakosti is the place to be. Nakosti. 
Egypt now there. Actually for our field work we had to apply for permits for research at Lacoste. So it's our website. It's national something. National something something research. And besides Lacoste is the Kenya Kevavapi, the Kenya vaccination something. And also the Kabete vet labs on the other end. Kabete vet. Now, when I come to Thailand, I'll show you the other places where you can Can you veterinary vaccines production institutes? In fact, okay, maybe, but we can't get that quite well. So this should be too bumpy, bumpy, bumpy. So the Kabete Technical Training Institute is over there. Kabete National Polytechnic. Kabete National, this one. And then if you go to the other end, there's a roundabout, then you go all the way up to Uderu or Dumboini. Dumboini is where the University of Nairobi, Upper Kabete College of Agricultural Research Sciences is. And Kenya Veterinary Board is somewhere here. Their main office is Kenya Veterinary Board. Kabeja Police Station and Kenya Veterinary Board should be somewhere here. Those buildings. Kenya Veterinary Board. If you are a veterinary uh, technician or a veterinary doctor, you have to register through that board. So, Going that way, you, have, you go up to University of Nairobi, Kabete Campus, Upper Kabete Campus. And now, on this other end, you have Udiru. Udiru is like another destination. And it's campus, the University of Nairobi, Upper Kabete Campus. Udiru for you. This is Udiru. These are the local metros, super metro that takes you up to this point. Right, so this is Nairobi for you, the outskirts of Nairobi. Thank you. 
fact so many people come to chill around Naivasha. It's called the... <laughs> if you know Naivasha, you know what happens here. But uh, away from that, people come to chill. There's lots of uh, hotels, lots of uh, chilling spots, fun activities going on. Here you can never miss to have fun. That's also another Delamere farm. That one should be another Delamere farm. And there normally is a river somewhere. A river somewhere. A river something. A river Narasha or something. A river Makalia. Makaria is in Lake Nakuru National Park. A river Makalia. Should be a river something. A river Narasha or something. about this place because we come here for bird watching, some field work and also for the safari that events that normally happens twice every year. The first one is normally the ARC for May and the second one is the WRC around June, June, July. The first one May, April, May, the second one June, July. If you are not a fan of the safari rally, go check it out. We have two events in Kenya. World Safari Rally and African Rally Championships. This is the river I told you. This river. I guess it's River Makali, if I'm not wrong. River Makali or something. Goes up to the up to the Lamea farms on the other end. Very big farm. Also on this other end, also part of the Lamea. And there's a, a lot of ranches around this place, and a lot of, a lot of nature conservancies, private nature conservancies. So around here we have they keep the wildlife and also the domestic animals. We've done some field work inside this farm. It houses lots and lots of birds inside this farm. And that's the main entrance over here. And uh, behind those uh, greenhouses is a very, very traditional tractor. A big tractor, very, very big. I wish I could get a picture and show you here. If I don't get it, because I've been there, if I don't get it, I will not show you. But if I get it, I'll show you. Very, very big tractor. The ancient tractor. The first tractors that were invented. Very big machine. Very really loud in land. During the agrarian revolution, as modernization kicked in, one of the first tractors. Very big machine. I will look my photo gallery and show you. You can see over there so many greenhouses. Most of them they plant flowers but uh, also most of them are agricultural products. Also you can see the land has been tilled waiting for plantation. It's a big stretch of land by the De La Mer. another lake called Lake Elementata um, a few miles from here so they say Lake Elementata there's also the Soisambu uh, reserve Soisambu is a private reserve I think it's owned partly by the De La Mea also and that's where the sleeping warrior is another stage of the World Rally Championship let's go there this is an auto in China in China is now and also in Kenya. Follow for more. See you at the other end of the break. I'm doing this in small, small parts. This 
sleeping area should be around that place. The shape is a mountain or a hill that is shaped like a soldier who is sleeping facing up. And maybe ahead we can see it. We can see it. That one. That one. Although here it's not a good angle, but that should be the sleeping warrior. I wish I could get a better, better, better view of that place, the sleeping warrior, so that you will relate to what I'm saying, but if I don't, I will download it from the internet and plug it here, maybe, if I get the time, when I'm editing, normally I edit so many videos, and right now I have like 50 episodes to edit, so if I get time, famous Kikope. You see, this is the land where sweet meat, sweet goat meat comes. Kikope. Come here in Kikope, you'll have very, very delicious meat, natural taste. We at Kikope. Kikope near Sinsambu.
I get time, I will download it from my gallery and show you. But there it is. The sleeping wall. The sleeping wall. Just on like elevator. The sleeping wall is there. Looks like a soldier who is sleeping with, or a warrior who is sleeping with his head facing up.
get a grip, a grip, grip of what's happening around. St. Mary's Mission Hospital. Like Nakuru National Park, the home of 
Lesser Flamingos and Greater Flamingos, the home of Lake Naivasha, Lake Elementaita, Greater Lake, the home of the Vasti. This is the home of most artists in Kenya. Many of them, Professor Hamo, Avril, and so so many artists. Oh my goodness. So many artists dominating the Kenyan market come from this city. Also, DJ CT, Mami, who else? Vivian, Kenya, who else? This place has a large number of artists. A large number of artists. So, we are trying to traverse the city. Quite a small city actually. And that's why this is my fourth, my fifth city. My first city was Kunming City. My second city was Wanju City. My third city was Changcha City. My fourth city was Nairobi City. And right about now we are in the fifth city. We are in Nakuru City. It's actually called Nakuru County. According to the latest uh, boundaries uh, distribution, it's called Nakuru County. But in other words, Nakuru City. Welcome to Nakuru City. This is an auto in China. An auto in China is now an auto in Nakuru City. The park is just around here and uh, you can see the lake lake nakuru this is lake nakuru lake nakuru this one i hope you can appreciate the lake Yeah. 